Jack Frost thinks that he's the most amazing comedian ever. Christy said, Let's pretend to be friends. He's so conceited that he's bound to believe us. We'll ask for his autograph and then Mimi can unhook the pendant while he's signing. Great idea, said Rachel. The two friends started pretending to splutter with laughter and they rushed onto the stage swept around the goblin assistants and dashed over to Jack Frost. Your jokes are the funniest I've ever heard, Tristy dashed. Could you could we please please have your autograph back, Rachel? Jack Frost smug smile grew even smarter, but then he looked at the audience and shook his head. I have a duty to all my friends, he said, putting his hand over his heart. I must continue with the show, and you are interrupting me. Come back for an autograph later. But we can't wait, said Kirsty. Of course you can, said Jack Frost. I'm the funniest, best, and most handsome act in the fairy land and the human world. You will wait until I am ready. He gave them both such a shock that they went stealing back into the wings, landing in a tangled heap of arms, legs, and wings. Mimi helped them up, and they all peered out onto the stage again. One of the goblin assistants was doing a wobbly pirouette, and he spun around and he put a sparkly blue wig from behind the glitter ball, the other dropped in dig a little jig, then dived into the glitter ball and put out an enormous blue bow tie. Your outfit, sir, struck the first goblin. The goblin snatched the wig and the bow tie and quickly put them on. Then he swept a deep bow to the audience, who was almost hysterical with laughter. Mr. Tundo's bow tie is much better, said Rachel. So are his jokes, Christy added. Remember the cream pie? She and Rachel grinned at each other, and then their eyes widened. They had exactly the same idea at exactly the same time. Mimi, can you use your magic to make a tray of cream pies? Rachel asked. Mimi just smiled and waved her wand. Instantly, a huge tray of whipped cream pies appeared in Rachel's arms. Come on, she said to Christy. We have to make Jack Frost want to give us the pendant. Rachel and Christy ran onto the stage and put the tray of pies down between them. Then they each picked up and took aim. Three, two, one, fire, Christy whispered. Whoosh, whoosh, two cream pies flew through the air. Splat, one knocked Jack Frost's wig off. Splash, the other was a direct hit right on his sharp nose, which poked through the paper plate. Jack Frost yanked the plate off and clawed his face, wiping great blouts of green cream out of his eyes and flicking them onto the stage. The fairies in the audience were beside themselves, laughing even harder than before. They obviously thought that this was supposed to happen. Stop laughing, Jack Frost snout through gritted teeth. This isn't part of my show. I'm the joke maker. Not the joke, you foolish ring flappers. The laughter stopped immediately. Jack Frost turned to Rachel and Christy, his eyes blazing with anger. They stepped a little closer together. It made them feel braver to be beside each other. Give me those pies, Jack Frost hissed. If anyone around here is going to be throwing cream pies, it'll be me, not a pair of crazy fairies. You can't have them, said Rachel, trying not to let her voice shake. They belong to us, just like how that pendant you're wearing belongs to Mimi. Give them to me, Jack Frost hollered, but the friends shook their heads. You can only have them if you give Mimi back her pendant first, said Christy. 
Jack Frost's eyes narrowed, and then he turned his head towards the audience. The girls could tell that he wanted more laughter than an applause. They really liked it when you threw, pie, threw those pies, he muttered. Alright, if you insist, you can have the silly pendant, as long as I can throw pies.